Hey, it's Naturally TC coming at you with this natural hair color video. Now, I did this color some time ago. I just never posted the video. I really wasn't, I, I was happy with the outcome. I wasn't happy with the video because at this point, I didn't have my ring light and the natural light from my window and the sun did not do justice to this color because this color was amazing. Uh, the client uh, desired color was a, like we did a hot pink on top and the sides were silver. And I actually left some um, kind of pastel -y pink colors in the top of it as well. So it was a just a great mesh of pink and silver and this video does not do it any justice so i never posted it but you know hey i decided to get it out my phone because i'm trying to clear up some space so i said let me go ahead and post it well i sectioned the hair into four sections and i'm using pravana's cream cream lightener because the cream lightener to me seems to be less invasive on our hair on ethnic hair it also lifts the hair a lot more evenly than um, powdered lightener. Now, those are the two colors. You're going to have to rewind it to catch it that I use. They're both from Pravana as well. So what I did, I went in, I lightened the top. At first, I did use 40 volume because I don't have all day. And color on natural hair takes all day already. So I always tell people it, that there's like a three-hour minimum for me to get the color right because I like the color to look really good. So I'm putting the um, silver around the uh, bottom part or the base part of her hair and then we're going to use the pink on the top. Now I did go back in before I applied this and I used a nine, uh, Pravana has a nine blue violet. So the blue violet will take out that orangey brassy look even though i could have went back in and lightened her hair a little bit more but i really try to play it safe with our hair because you never want the client's hair to be extremely brittle once you're done or falling off in the sink which that wouldn't have happened to her hair because uh she has like 4c hair is pretty strong and it was pretty healthy and it was nice and moisturized so and she's a hairstylist herself so she does take care of her hair so we didn't have that problem but i just didn't i error on the safer side most of the time because i want to maintain the integrity of the hair so i'm going in with the pink um it's called pretty in pink color it um it worked really well i as she wore it for a long time it was like uh weeks later and she said she was still rocking it so we didn't have that where it you know just completely bleeds out after you apply the color especially for naturals because we wet our hair a lot we're moisturizing our hair a lot when we go with these really bright colors uh, they tend to bleed sometime depending on the brand of color that you use and because it's like a direct color you don't have to use any developer developer in order to use it you know it just sticks on the hair kind of like a temporary color and sometimes it will rinse right on out or it'll be all over your pillowcase but we didn't have any issues with this Pravana color so we were happy with it so I'm just gonna go ahead and saturate this hair as much as possible and you want to use a lot of color like the color is going to saturate the hair shaft from the root to the end you can't be skimpy on the color because if you're skimpy on the color you're going to see right through the color and it's not going to look good so you have to make sure that you really saturate that hair and that you have enough color I believe we use maybe I might have used like almost two, maybe two and a half 
bottles or tubes, probably two and a half tubes just on the top of her hair because I just wanted to make sure that it was truly saturated. So we completely applied a color. I put her under a warm hooded dryer about 30 minutes to allow the color to process, take her from under it, do a deep conditioning treatment, and then uh, usually what I would do is style the hair, but she only came in for the color, which is perfectly okay for me. You know, like I said, she's a stylist. Some of my clients know how to style their own hair, so they come to me for just those needs as far as color, deep conditioning treatments, things of that nature. Clients come to you for different reasons, and you have to be okay with that. So we didn't actually style this hair, but what really looks good on 4C hair is, of course, twist outs, rod sets, anything that's going to give it like that extra texture because 4C hair really holds the style. It really holds the texture. So you don't, we don't, I'm a, I'm a 4C, so I know. So we don't have that Spanish girl curl hair or, you know, those ringlets that you find um, on some ethnic clients so yeah it came out really well like I said the pictures and the video don't really give it the justice that it needs due to me not having the proper lighting but I have a ring light now so the next time I do color I will be sure 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 to record it and share it with you all I hope you enjoyed this video I'll let the rest ride out make sure you're following me on Instagram and Facebook because I post different stuff on there as well. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please like it, even share it with a friend, and we'll do it again another day. Appreciate you. Thank you. That's a picture. This is what I'm about to do. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.